so the cap was an accurate account from the money to me. Eh? But you don't think that might include the shit that's stuffed in your pockets? I ain't doing this shit for nothing. We get paid a measly 35 grand a year, bro. To get shot at. Disrespected on a daily. Spending countless hours doing paperwork. We out here arresting the same pieces of shit. Over and over and over again. Only to have them same motherfuckers. Get pushed right back out in the streets to do the same shit over and over and over again, man. That's our fucking job. And fuck this job. Motherfuckers that we swore to protect, that we out here risking our lives for, they look down on us, man. They treat us like, like, like we the damn enemy. Damn, bro. Whose side are you on? Look, bro, all I'm saying is you got a daughter that you're trying to put through private school because you damn sure don't trust the public schools, right? General shit. You got that high-ass mortgage on your house that you can't even really afford to pay no more since Maria passed away. Bro, I see how hard you work yourself, man. How many man hours you put into this shit. Only to go home, dead be tired, every day. Barely enough energy to even kick it with your shorty. Yeah. Surprised you ain't stuffed your pocket check, you know? I'm trying to get paid, man. Good or bad, I don't give a damn. Man, what the fuck are you thinking? This could be the end of our career. I know we make shit for pay, get spit on, and underappreciated. But we both came here to stop motherfuckers from doing what the fuck you's doing. We both joined the force to become a difference. Become a solution to the problem. Not that to the shit. Motherfucker, please. We was both in the fantasy land back then. And as far as my career goes, I ain't feeling this shit no more, man. I don't like half the dudes I work with. But I'm supposed to put my life on the line and get out here and go to war with these dudes? And like I said, man, I hate paperwork. I fucking hate it. So... If I'm going to get paper cuts, guess what? I might as well get it counting this money. Where the fuck is this coming from, bro? And let me ask you this. At the end of this lovely career that we built for ourselves, what the fuck do we got to look forward to at the end? Huh? No, really. What, a, a chicken banquet dinner? <laughs> with some stale-ass Popeyes? And a picture with the mayor that you didn't even vote for? For 10 plus years of service? No, thank you. you. Keep that bullshit. And I'm gonna keep this real shit. You know that old saying we used to say, bruh? Money talks and bullshit walks. Well, I'm about to be doing a whole bunch of talking. And if you ain't with it, get to walking.
Wow. I don't know what the fuck happened to you. Or what the fuck you's been going through. But this shit isn't going to end well for either one of us. And no, bro. I ain't walking nowhere. I'm going to stay talking. Because maybe I could talk your crazy black ass back into some motherfucking reality. So I guess you're saying you don't want a piece of this, huh? Hell no. That's what you're saying? <laughs> Fuck no. I know you can use it. And as neat like, not, not for your something, you got to think about Mariah. Hey, watch your fucking mouth. Whatever, man. Shit, what you going to sit here and bleed my ears off with this righteousness about good versus evil and right versus wrong and good guy versus bad guy bullshit? You know damn well I am. And Joe ass needs a whole bunch of righteousness right about now. And no, bro, I'm good. And Mariah is damn sure good. I've been getting by without dipping, bro. I'm not about to start now. Besides, I don't think I could look my little baby girl in the face. But I gotta tell your fucking ass something right here, right now. What, man? I'm a fucking a little ashamed of your ass right now, brother. Yeah. Well, it ain't the first time you was ever ashamed of anything I've ever did or done. And it probably won't be the last. Get the fuck out of here.